In today's video, we are going to be talking about derma rolling as well as unboxing one that I actually ordered from Amazon. And the real question is, is it legit? Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Cruz and thank you for watching this video. Now, if you are returning back to this YouTube channel, you already know what to do. Hit the like button. But if you're brand new, do not subscribe to this YouTube channel yet unless you find value and you like the whole vibe for this channel, but let's get right into the content for today's video. I'm going to talk about how I kind of got involved with this right here and found out about it. So the big thing is I actually saw a content creator. I'm not going to say who, but he was on TikTok, YouTube shorts, like really like talking about derma rolling. To be honest with you for a long time, I was kind of iffy about the topic, right? Does it work? Is it a scam? Is it legit? And it prompted me to kind of want to figure it out for myself. So before we unbox, let me tell you what I know based off the research that is out there. So first thing is first, the concept is called micro needling, right? So micro needling is something that has been around for a while, but it really helps to kind of treat a couple of different uh, skin disorders. And it's it's been used to help like treat like scar appearances. It's been helped to kind of help uh, make better appearance of the skin as well. And in some cases can actually help stimulate a little bit of growth like facial hair but hold on that's you got to be careful when you say those things right but based on the studies that i got to see there was some evidence that it worked in certain occasions because what happens is these little needles right they puncture the skin barrier and when they do that it's almost like the body goes into like this repair uh type state right with the collagen production with uh healing the skin right and also can like i said can help at times stimulate a little bit of growth and in and what i really thought that was really cool for example um it's a form of alopecia so like you know how they have it sometimes for the head but it's more like this one that i read had to do with like ball spots so you know for some of the brothers that are watching the video that sometimes you'll have like a straight up patch in that area something like this could possibly help but now let's unbox this and then i'm going to tell you how i'm going to do kind of like a vlog series about this so let's go this one is a 0.25 size needle and and this is where it gets a little tricky because the the research that i saw bro it had different size needles for different like conditions or different procedures but there was nothing that i found that said a specific needle size for like stimulating follicle hair. So that's where it gets a little tricky. Obviously you really want to be careful about not getting a big size up like needle because what can really happen, especially if you go too much overboard with derma rolling, like on a daily or too deep within the skin, you can actually create some scarring and even some trauma to the skin. And if that happens, that can definitely get in the way of you actually stimulating any type of hair growth. All right, so this is the one I got from Amazon. Uh, I don't know how much I paid, maybe like 20 bucks or something like that. I'll put the this one down below in the description. So here we go. It came in one of these containers. There you go. Yep. This is it. This is 0.25. And these are the needles. So basically in this motion, that's considered derma rolling. Okay. <laughs> but this is it. And I'll put the information down below. So here's the thing, guys, based off the information, there is some validity to this. OK, and the really cool thing was now for all of you that may be coming here from the uh, Monoxidil community, because that that's a whole nother thing, guys. In the article that I read, it actually showed that the combination of derma rolling with Monoxidil actually did work well together. So again, I am being optimistic. I think that's the right word. Optimistic with this in hopes that it can help. But you're probably like, yo, Cruz, what are you talking about? Your beard is luscious. It's beautiful. Respectfully. Thank you. But it's this i want to see if i can get this to connect and see if there can be a little bit more production of like hair follicles more hair follicle stimulation i'm gonna do this about two to three times a week and i'm gonna maybe do it about maybe like 50 to 100 times uh back and forth maybe no 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 maybe not 100 but anywhere from like 50 to 70 but this is what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do an updated video in three months 
and then another one in six months. And in between those, every month in between those dates that I said right there, I'm going to drop a YouTube short. So the experiment for this is going to be me using this derma roller twice, two to three times a week for maybe about 50 times back and forth, back and forth, but being very gentle. If I need to adjust, I'll do more research and figure out if I need to lower that amount or do more. And I'll, and I'll try things in between. Cause again, because here's the thing, guys, there's nothing that I have read that gives any inclination on how many times you should really do it back and forth and so forth. So we're going to try that. And again, those are the dates and we'll see how it works. But for anyone that is getting into derma rolling, I'm going to give you a couple of tips. Number one, make sure that you are getting this brand new, that it's not repackaged or anything like that. The second thing is uh, make sure that you're cleaning your instrument. Make sure that you are cleaning it, putting it in a soapy water solution, make sure it's warm. And also do not, hear me clearly, do not go crazy with this instrument. I do not recommend, based off what I read, I do not recommend that you derma roll every single day, especially if you are in a higher range as far as the needle size, because you run into the risk of puncturing too deep within the skin barrier and creating maybe trauma and scarring to that area. So be very mindful, kind of create your own experiment, but I'm going to say safely that two to three area range right there, that would probably be the best bet. Okay. So nevertheless, guys, this is my derma roller. We're going to do a six month trial period. See what happens. If it does, if I do get results before that time is out that I want, then I'll make a video and let you guys know. So if you are someone that is interested in derma rolling, is interested in beard care and really learning how to get, get it to the next level, do me a favor, consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. But nevertheless, guys, let's see what happens with this and let's take it from there. Take care, hit a like. I'm Jay Cruz, and I'm outie. Peace.